Welcome to In the House. I'm Nicole Santor, Director of Engagement here at San Juan Community Theater, and I'm here with Claire Kierski, Marketing Associate. And we're doing a little switcheroo today because Claire is in our winter play, The Curious Savage, and she's here to talk about herself and her work in the play. Welcome, Claire. Thank you so much for having me. So tell me a little bit about how you actually came to be here at San Juan Community Theater. Well, my family and I have been coming to San Juan Island basically every summer, sometimes more, um, since I was a kid. My grandpa actually built his own house here on the island, so it's a very special place to us. So anytime we came to the island, I would always check the San Juan Community Theater schedule to see if there was anything going on. Um, we've been to the film series, we've been to a couple of the main stage shows, I've even been to some of the on-book readings. Um, and we also go to Island Stage Left, just any theater that I can consume, I'm always consuming it. Um, and so I decided that I wanted to be on the mailing list for the theater. Shout out and join our mailing list. <laughs> but I decided I wanted to be on the newsletter list just to keep up with anything that was going on. And, you know, maybe if I was in Seattle and wanted to hop over for a show, I could come do that. And so it was getting close to college graduation. I just graduated this past May. Um, and I was looking for jobs, mostly applying to places in California. But then on the newsletter, I saw that y'all were hiring for a marketing position at the theater and my degree's in theater, but I have a minor in digital media marketing. So doing marketing for theater is kind of perfect. Um, and so I applied for it and then we chatted and you were so awesome and helped me find some housing here and made it available for me to come out here and live on my favorite place in the entire world. And then I just got my first ever solo apartment this past October and I'm really doing it. So I'm very excited to be here. It's been such a great first job after college. And I moved here four days after graduation. When you were in school, what was your favorite uh, role? Um, I played Julius Caesar. We did a gender bent um, Julius Caesar and Antony and Cleopatra for a two day site specific SPQR show all around campus. Um, it was kind of crazy. It was super fun though, you know, having to deal with obstacles of people just being on campus and, and doing their thing and we're doing Shakespeare all over. <laughs> it was definitely a crazy experience, very difficult to rehearse, but the end product was really fun. So what are some of your acting inspirations? Who would you look up to? Ooh, Ooh. okay. Inspired you. Well, definitely Jennifer Lawrence mm -hmm. is my biggest inspiration. Um, she just basically went out on her own to New York for a bit when she was like 13 and then did MTV Sweet 16 was her first show. And then, you know, now she's Oscar award winning actress. So to me, that just shows that you can start anywhere. And she like had never even taken an acting class. I have a degree, but like, it's still really cool that you can start basically from nowhere and then become a star. I don't know if she's also just really funny and down to earth. And I like that she's stayed humble throughout her really widespread career, so. What, um, what's your dream role? If you could pick any role that's created or not created. Well, created or not created. Yeah. That opens a whole new door. It does. It makes it way more complicated. <laughs> Great. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm going to go with created just because I would need some time to think about not created and created on my, my own character. But so I have two answers. Okay. One, wait, I do. I have an answer for created Ooh, okay. and I do have an answer for not created okay. yet. Yes. Yet. Yes. Yes. Um, so for creative, I've always wanted to be Elle and Legally Blonde. I don't have the singing voice for that role, but if I could magically one day sing like that, oh, I would, I would kill to be Elle and Legally Blonde. Ah. Um, for not created yet, um, I've always dreamed about writing a book that gets turned into a movie or TV show and then starring in said do a movie or a TV show. And then I can say I'm in all like, parts of the process. Right. I wrote the original thing, I helped create the series, and then I starred in the series. And I feel like that would be the ultimate trifecta of being someone in the arts. What would it be about? Um, so actually, I kind of have started yeah. writing. It's like a book play. Um, there's a director that I've been very close to um, after doing a show um, with him in college. And we kind of started writing a piece together. It's definitely very personal, but it's kind of about my experience with self-image specifically. Um, some stuff in college I went through regarding eating disorders. And I think it's a really important story to tell in the arts industry because I think there's a lot of people who feel the pressure to 
look a certain way when you're in theater, especially film too, you know, and you're looking at the cameras afterwards and if you don't like what you look like, um, that can be hard and it can be hard to do your best acting when you're not feeling 100% confident. Um, and so definitely in college, I went through some ups and downs um, with that. And so I wanted to tell my story um, and in the hopes of maybe helping someone else that feels the same way. Tell me a little bit about the show, The Curious Savage, and your role in it, but no spoilers, because I haven't seen it or read it. No spoilers. <laughs> yes, um, the show is very funny, but it also tackles some serious topics. It kind of centers around the differences between loneliness and togetherness, um, and how, you know, your family, who typically, you know, would surround you with love and affection, may actually make you feel more isolated and alone and your family is your chosen family. Um, so the people that you connect with and love and care for, those are the people that become your family um, and that might or might not be your blood relatives. Um, and I think the show tells a lovely story about finding connection in unlikely places. Mm. And what's the importance of a show like this in this particular moment? Well, definitely going off of the topic of loneliness. Um, I feel that obviously many people right now are feeling isolated and may have been for a couple years now. Um, and so I think that the show is just a really heartwarming story right now for those who may be feeling a little bit alone. Um, and it's important to have some uplifting tales in this time of finding people that make you feel not so alone. Um, so I think that if anyone's been feeling down recently, this story will be a great opportunity for people to feel uplifted. And this is not a spoiler, but at the end, we do talk about making peace with your loneliness um, and kind of accepting that, you know, you can be strong on your own and you don't necessarily need the people who call themselves your family, um, whether they act like it or not, um, to be there for you because you are strong and you can do amazing things by yourself. Ooh. Yeah, that sounds like a really good, a really good story that we, you know, could use at any point, but especially right now. The Curious Savage opens on February 18th and closes on March 6th. Tickets are pay what you can on Thursdays, and then ticketing info and other info can be found on our website at sjctheater.org. Sundays we do have reduced capacity, so if you are interested in doing socially distant seating, that'd be a good time to show up. We also have more information about our COVID safety protocols on our website as well. We hope you'll join us for the show. Thanks for being here, Claire. Thank you so much for having me.